get him and then you. I'm going to get him and then, and then him. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, I'd just like to congratulate you on one of Miami's brand new uh, citizens. Uh, Lionel Messi. And I just, my question is, does the mayor get season tickets for those? I do not. But, but I'll tell you this. I'll tell you why it's important and, and how it influences a presidential race. When you've got a player who can go anywhere in the world and is being offered billions of dollars but chooses to be in the United States and chooses to be in Miami, it's because we are creating the best quality of life in the world. And that is what we have to do as a country, not just as a city. And the second thing I would tell you is when you think of me as a negotiator, right, because, you know, some of my opponents have, you know, I've done well in the private sector, but they've done very well in the private sector. And their, their argument is, I'm a good negotiator. And I get that. If you've done well in the private sector, you can make that argument. I negotiated arguably the best sports deal in the history of America. Okay, the Bills just gave, Buffalo just gave, sorry, Buffalo just gave the Bills a billion four for their stadium. Tennessee just gave the Titans a billion two. And I think Nevada is going to give the Raiders a billion dollars. We gave the Inter-Miami team zero dollars. They're going to pay us two billion dollars in revenue. And they went out and got the best player in the world, so they're making our real estate more valuable. So it was a great deal that we did, and that will project out to how I do deals at the national level. Yes, sir. Uh, 